Hello students, this is a new video series on the introduction to the index laws. Now we call it an introduction to the index laws because in this series of videos we're only going to use numbers as bases. So we'll look at things like 2 to the power of 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2, and later on when we study the index laws in further detail we'll use variables. So we'll have a to the power of 3, which is the same as a times a times a. So let's start by just having a quick look at this uh, cartoon. Here we have a stack on the left, 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. And it turns out that can be rewritten in a shorthand form as 2 to the power of 5. So let's have a look at some of the terminology we use when we're looking at indices and powers. Okay, so the language of powers. So here we have a 2 with a little 3 above it. That 2 is called the base. The 3 actually has three different names depending upon uh, which part of the world you're from. So one name for it is the index. Another name for it is the exponent. So index tends to be British and Australian. Exponent tends to be the American term. And sometimes that's also called the power. Now that's a little bit confusing because often we use the whole thing to stand for the power. So 2 to the index 3 sometimes is called the power but sometimes just the little number itself, the actual index is called the power. So often our terminology is a little bit ambiguous. Now 2 to the power of 3 is just a shorthand way of writing 2 times 2 times 2. So when you write the shorthand form, that's called the index form. And when you expand it, that's called the expanded form. So one of the first things you have to be able to do is to turn something in index form into expanded form and an expression in expanded form back into index form. So I'll write the following in expanded form. And overall, it's all pretty easy. That just tells us that we're multiplying five eights together. So just eight times 8, times 8, times 8, times 8. If we have 3 squared times 4 cubed, or 4 to the power of 3, so sometimes we say 4 cubed, or we can just say 4 to the power of 3, 3 squared or 3 to the power of 2, that just means we're multiplying two threes together and we're multiplying three fours. Going back the other way, if you're given an expression in expanded form, you can say that's just five eights multiplied together or an index form eight to the power of five. Now, to simplify, the base has to be the same. For, so for this last one, how many 2's do we have all together? Now, remember that when you're multiplying numbers, order doesn't make any difference. So this expression here is the same as 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2, which is 2 to the power of 5. And we have 3 7's multiplied together so times 7 to the power of 3. And it turns out you can't write it any simpler than that. I'm going to change that multiply sign. It looks too much like a T. So I'll try to make that a little bit more neat. That's slightly better. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next slide. Okay, now when you're asked to evaluate an expression, that's almost has the word value in it. And that means turn it into a number. So asked to evaluate, 
we don't expand this out. We turn it into its value, basically. And we do that. In this case, we're going to use a calculator because these numbers are quite big. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops, that's the wrong slide. Uh, there, that's the one I want. Okay, here we go. Okay, so on the calculator, you should have a raise to the power button. So there it is on my calculator. Whoops. There it is on my calculator. 2 to the power of 6 and equals. And that simplifies to 64. The next one, uh, 3 to the 4th times 4 cubed. 3 raised to the power of 4, arrow across, times 4 raised to the power of 3. And that evaluates to, doesn't really simplify to, whoops, what was that? 5184. Okay, have a go with the remaining two questions um, with this one on the bottom. If your calculator has a fraction button, use that. Okay, stop the video. Once you've um, done those, um, restart it and check your answer. Okay, let's see how you went. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. 2 to the power of 6 arrow across. That's the most common mistake I make, by the way, is I forget to arrow to get the cursor back down to the 2 line. Multiplied by 5. And because I got on this calculator a special squared button, I can save one key press or a couple of key presses. And that evaluates to 1,600. Okay, now with the last one, most um, modern scientific calculators have a fraction button on them. So I'd certainly use that um, if you have one. It just makes it much easier. So 4 raised to the power of 3, arrow across, times 2 raised to the power of 5, down arrow, 2 to the power of 4, arrow across, and times 4. And a smart thing to do when you're you know, keying in more um, complicated expressions like this is just double check that what you've got there matches the question. And then just press the equal key. And that gives us 32. By the way, if you don't have a fraction button on your calculator, what you have to do is do it this way. Now, I always use brackets when I'm dividing, because sometimes if you don't, you get the wrong answer. So in brackets, 4 cubed times 2 to the 5th, divided by in brackets 2 to the 4th times Four. So if you type that into your calculator, um, not using the fraction bar, but using just the divide symbol, you should get the same answer of 32. Okay, we'll leave it at there and uh, move on to the next video very shortly.